what's up guys if you didn't know already my name is Daniel and today I'm gonna to teach you how to play a song I'm not entirely sure what the title is I can't tell if it's extreme riff in peace or extreme is the band and riff in peace of the title or if it's called Nuno song but it was requested by the legendary ninja bunny and I hope you're able to learn it man I put out all the tabs and it took me a while to learn so I apologize for the wait anyways half step down tuning go ahead and get started the first part you're gonna learn sounds like this We're going to start with the G chord, and what you're going to want to do is pluck the 3rd fret of the low E string, and then you're going to strum down, up. Then you're going to pluck the open A string and hammer onto the 2nd fret, and then pluck the D and then the G strings open. Then we're going to move on to a C add 9, that's going to be the 3rd fret A string, 3rd fret B and E strings, and you're just going to pluck the 3rd fret of the A string, and then strum down on the bottom strings. So this first part so far. And then you're going to put your next string on the second fret of the D string. And you're going to plug that, strum down, up. And then put your middle finger on the third fret of the D string. And you're going to plug that, and then strum down, up. And then you can do the same hammer on as before. So hammer on to the second fret of the A string. Then plug open D, open G. Back to a C at 9 chord, and you're going to pluck the 3rd fret of the A string and strum down, up. And then you're going to pluck the open low E string and hammer onto the 2nd fret. And then pluck open A, open D. So that first line all together. Now the second line sounds like this. So we're going to start in a similar way. You want to start with your G chord. We're going to pluck the 3rd fret of the low E string and then strum down. And then you're going to pluck the open A, hammer onto the 2nd fret, open D, open G. Then switch to a C add 9 and pluck the 3rd fret of the A string, strum down. Put your next string on the second fret of the D string, pluck that note, down, up, third fret D, pluck, down, up, and then second fret A string, pluck that, down, up, third fret A, pluck, down, up, and then you're going to put your middle finger on the third fret to make a G chord again, pluck the third fret of the E string, and then strum up, and then second fret E string, and then strum up. part sounds like this. So we're going to start this part off with a variation of an E minor 7th chord. And what I do is I use my index finger on the 2nd fret of the A, D, and G strings and keep my pinky and ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B and high E strings. Now you're going to pluck the open low E string and then strum down up, down, up, and then do it again. And then we're going to switch to a chord, I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be the open A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3rd fret B, and high E strings. And you're going to pluck the open A, and then strum down, up, down. Then you're going to strum up again, but you're going to want to take your ring finger off the 3rd fret of the B string and leave the B string open. When you strum up, and then you're going to put your middle finger down on the 2nd fret of the B string and strum down, down, up, down, and then take it off, and then strum up. This part might be a little confusing. And we're going to switch to a C at 9 again, pluck the 3rd fret of the A string, and then strum down, up, down, up. So this part's slower. Now 
this next part, you continue with that C add 9 and strum the same way, but the whole thing is going to sound like this. So again, strum C add 9 the same way as you did before. Pluck the 3rd fret of the A string, down, up, down, up, and then you're going to switch to a G chord, and just pluck the 3rd fret of the E string, strum down, up, down, come back up, take all your fingers off of the strings and just strum up. And then you're going to switch to a B7 chord and that's going to be the 2nd fret A string, 1st fret D string, 2nd fret G, and 2nd fret high E. And you're going to strum down, up, down, up, down, up. part you're going to play it the same way as you did in the line you just learned up until the G chord and I'll show you how it sounds. to be moving up here on the fretboard. So like I said, instead of going to the G chord, we're going to go up to chords up here, and I'm going to pretend I just finished off that C add 9 chord. I'm not sure what these chords are called, but I'm pretty sure they're jazz chords. So you're going to want to set up your fingers like this. Pinky goes on the 7th fret of the B string, ring finger 7th fret G, index finger, 6th fret D, and middle finger on the 7th fret of the A string. Now you're going to pluck the open E string, and then do a quick down up strum. And then you're going to move your middle finger to the 7th fret of the low E string, strum down up, index finger goes to the 6th fret of the low E string, down up, and then you're going to pluck the 5th fret of the low E string. Now from here you want to move your ring finger to the 7th fret of the D string, move your middle finger to the 6th fret of the G string, you keep your pinky on the 7th fret of the B string, and keep your index finger on the 5th fret of the low E string. And you already plucked that note right there, the 5th fret of the E string, and you're going to strum down, up, mute, up, down, up. Pluck the low E string again on the 5th fret, strum down, let it ring out for a second, and then strum up, down, up. So all together, starting up here on these chords. Next line sounds like this. So you're going to start off the same way, at least for the first half. And then we're going to switch to a chord over here. So it's going to be the same shape as you started with, just one step down. You're going to pluck the 5th fret of the A string, strum down, up and then move your middle finger to the 5th fret of the low E string this time. Down, up, index finger 4th fret E string, down, up, and then you're going to do the same chord shape as before with the 3rd fret of the E string, 5th fret D and B strings, and the 4th fret of the G string. And you're going to pluck the 3rd fret of the low E and strum down, up, mute, up, down, up. So that line all together. And the last line sounds like this. So 
So we're starting off the same way we left off in the last part. So 3rd fret low E, 5th fret D, B, and 4th fret G. You're going to pluck the 3rd fret of the low E string, strum down, up, mute, up, down, up, and then you're going to take all your fingers off. Then you're going to pluck the open G string and hammer on to the 2nd fret. Pluck an open B, and then you're going to pluck an open D string, hammer on to the 2nd fret, then pluck the open G. And then with your index finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, you're going to pluck that and hammer on to the 4th fret of the D string. And then pluck the open G string again. And then you want to set yourself up with a D chord, but you're going to strum that and quickly slide up here to the 7th fret of the E string, 8th fret B, and 7th fret G. And let it ring out for a little bit. You can even bend the strings. And then you can use your ring finger to bar the 12th fret of the high E, B, and G strings, and then just strum down and let those ring out. So that last part all together. And then you want to put all those parts together and make the song. And that's the end of the lesson, guys, but I do have to give credit where credit is due. I didn't learn this by watching the artist, I learned it by watching a cover by Gold Dragon. And if you want to see the video I learned from, go ahead and just click on the link in the description, I'll leave it down there. Give this guy some credit and go ahead and like that video, because without him, I wouldn't have learned the song and I wouldn't have been able to teach you. And thank you again, Legendary Ninja Bunny, hope you enjoyed it and hope you're able to learn it. And as always, leave any questions, comments, or requests in the comment box down below and I will add to the list. Have a good one, guys, I'll see you in the next video.